I queen, you queen, we all shuffleboard for Dairy Queen. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. It's March. We made it to March. Yeah, we did. Hopefully we've all started to defrost a little bit. Yeah, one of the best parts about a warming up outside is getting to eat frozen treats at iconic places like Dairy Queen without shivering. Well, unless you always eat Dairy Queen in your own personal walk-in freezer because you find the sensation of rock hard nipples only increases the flavor of your ice cream. But who would do that? Not me. Right. Anyway, it turns out Dairy Queen has been around longer than anyone in this room, so can we figure out when all kinds of Dairy Queen, tr Queen, Queen. You, you can do it, Queen. Dairy Queen treats actually came to be. It's time for the Shuffleboard Game, Dairy Queen Edition. Welcome to the Shuffleboard Zone. <laughs> in each round, we're gonna be given a Dairy Queen menu item, and then we're gonna get to taste it. And then we're gonna get, get, get to guess. Your energy is scaring me a little bit when, right now. Then we're I, gonna I, get, get to yeah, guess. Yeah, bring, bring it down just a little bit. What decade? You get a little aggressive. Item. And turn the shuffleboard game. It's games. something about this and you the fact that I took aggressive. a cold shower this morning. Uh, we're gonna indicate what decade we think that it came from by shuffling, shuffling, it's, shuffling. Did they cut the heat off, the, the gas off at your house again for a failure of pain? It's. Uh, no, it's, it's invigorating. Once again, today's game is a bump fest. That means we can both bump each other's pucks in every single round if we want to. The winner gets Insta creams throughout Good Mythical More. I don't know what that means, but my nipples are hard. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to shuffling. What we got? He didn't toss it. Here, it, 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 this getting rid of that. This is too heavy. Blizzard. Man. Blizzard, y'all. Here we go. We're kicking it Whoop. off with some good stuff. Is when was it, the last time you just had a blizzard? Is this a chocolate chip cookie dough? What is this? Reese's? Reese's. That's Reese's. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, man, that's a good one. Dang. Mm, that's a good breakfast. Seriously, when was the last time you just went into the Dairy Queen and got a blizzard? It's been a while, but I got lots of nostalgia. I remember when they opened up the Dairy Queen in Lillington. That was a big deal. Big, big day. Mm-hmm. Best day in Lillington history. Yep. And then a couple weeks later, we just... Started going back to the Tasty Freeze. Damn it. I won last time, so I'm going first. Feel free. I feel like I may remember like the blizzard being a thing, but when you live in a small town, like Bowie's Creek, Just there's lots you... of things that are new to you. Yeah, that are only new to you. You think this is 1980? I think it's the 80s. Okay, buddy. So I'm gonna nestle going myself. Going for the back left corner. I'm gonna nestle myself back there. Up, oh, I think it's gonna bounce. That's where I wanted to be. I right wanted to make want myself unbumpable. You know what? I'm going to shuffle. Why don't you just eat some more of that blizzard, man? You deserve it. Hey, thank I you. I mean, you're going to lose, so you might as well okay. have a pick-me-up. Mm. You know what? I hate to agree with you, but I do. Here's the thing. What? I think it's 1980, because that's when they started to unabashedly use catastrophic weather events to name things. Yeah. You know? They never did that before. You know, cocaine was a big thing. Carolina hurricanes. And the and but like Did you just say cocaine was a big thing. Cocaine is not a natural disaster. Well, no, I'm just saying in the '80s they were just like caution to the wind, businessmen. You know, getting dusty. Yeah. I got to get you out of the '80s, and that's gonna be hard to do. Well, that's why because I did that. you're you're so that's why I entrenched <clears throat> in the corner. I nestled myself. I can't hit you dead on. I've got to try to hit you on the on the border side to send you back this way. Whoa, like a pull or, shot. Yeah, or I could bank it off the back, but you're so close, it's unbankable. All right. It's a lot, a lot of, to think about here. Okay, I'm gonna knock you out of that corner. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> that was amazing. I don't, I don't know if you're following along uh. at home, but. That didn't work. <laughs> man. That did not freaking work, mm. man. Only thing that's gonna cheer me up is, Stevie, you telling me this is 2010. <laughs> Dairy or Queen's some blizzards, the soft serve blends with a plethora of mix-ins have been defying gravity and satisfying sweet tooth since they were introduced when businessmen were getting dusty in <laughs> 1985. Yes! Well, at least I was also correct. You were also correct. 
but that didn't mean much. See, you can do it. We can do it, but it's dangerous. It's kinda heavy. <laughs> Banana split. Oh, buddy. And look at, they got a nice little container here that like, it, it, it creates it, like it a cart. The 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 is, is yeah, that the logo? That, yeah, is that the Dairy Queen logo. I think it's just so that the bananas will curve. But it is the Dairy Queen logo. Look, it's shaped like the Dairy Queen logo. What? Ah! All right, so we're digging into a banana. We split. all totally saw that. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, it's frozen, y'all. I've never wanted this, so I've never ordered this. Never ordered a it's banana. Got pineapple split. in it. That's strange, isn't it? All right. That is so cold, guys. You're oh. going first again. Please do not go into another impenetrably locked location. Now I feel like banana banana splits are old news, man. Banana banana splits banana are old split. news. Like that may have been like the whole idea. I was like, how do we split bananas? Start a restaurant. Like it could have been the whole genesis. So you're thinking 19... I don't know when Dairy Queen happened, but it probably happened in the 30s, the four, probably the 40s. It probably happened in the 40s. 40s is when we were starting to really get into this, like, is post-war. It's like, let's start giving people ice cream. You know, it, it, it was that was how we started thinking. But maybe, did it take them 10 years to figure out that bananas should happen? You're gonna bump me either way. I'm gonna position myself in between the 50s and the 40s, right there on that little crosshair, and then see what you are tempted to do. Okay. Okay, a little short. Okay, it didn't get there, but you're still gonna bump me anyway, right? I don't love. I kind of maybe I location. created an, an issue for you. Well, if if you're totally correct, then 1930 is the place to be. I mean, you think about the sock hops of the 50s and all the bananas being split. It, it, I, there's an association there. If a banana splits at a Dairy Queen and no one's there, does it make a sound? This is my moment to shine. Okay. Don't this, don't ask. I'm me. just asking questions. So I'm just gonna skirt skirt by you to 1950 and then flirt with a little 1940. But all I gotta do is just get a little bit past you. True. I really split the banana on this round. I was burnt by the bump last time. Stop! No whammies. Okay. A little further than I wanted, but I think you're I'm still touching 1950. I think you're pretty safe there. Says long, don't tell me it's 1930, Stevie. No, no way. No way. DQ's beautiful banana split made up of vanilla soft serve with strawberry pineapple chocolate and whipped cream toppings was brought to the menu all the way back in the sock hopping days of 1951. Yes! Yeah. And look at that. It's the logo. <laughs> yeah, you see, you can see it. It's the logo. Oh, see, that's why I dropped a little didn't pineapple. It. Before we reveal our next Dairy Queen dish, we uh -huh. want to talk for a second about the Dairy Queen herself, Stevie Levine. What? <laughs> Did you hear the news? I thought Michelle was the Dairy Queen, but okay. Well, I'm, I'm just for the sake of the tie-in, you know, she's the Dairy Queen today. Stevie's got a new podcast! What? Yes! What? If you're a fan of Stevie, well, you're going to be a fan of her podcast. Isn't that right, Stevie? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Best Friends Back. All right. <laughs> and it's it's pretty great concept. She had this friend in high school. Her best friend in high school, they fell out of touch. But then they're getting reacquainted with each other. From now, a podcast. All these years later, on a podcast, her best friend from high school, Nagin, uh, who she hasn't, hasn't, hasn't seen her for, what, 15 years? Haven't talked to her? Yeah, I'm old now. <laughs> yeah, okay. Reconnecting after 15 years. So they're gonna rekindle that old friendship. They're gonna be talking about things that they remember from back in the day, things that uh, interest them today. It's a podcast. They're gonna talk to each other and have interesting conversations. It's available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts. So go listen to the trailer and get ready for episodes starting next week. Best Links. friends back. All right. All right. Links in the description. All right, I hope it works out for y'all. I, I mean, that's kind of the stakes in this thing is like, well, are they, what if they hate each other now? That'll be interesting. I mean, they're totally different people. I'm clicking on that. Than they used to be. I'm clicking on that. All right. Catch it. Chili burger. Oh, grill burger. Grill burger. Grill burger? Grill, man. This is a welcome thing to put in my mouth after that 
frozen banana split. <laughs> okay. Look at that. So, that thing's thick, man. Yeah, it's a double. They call it a grill burger? Man. That's not bad. That's a tasty burger. Okay. Now, in Lillington, they didn't have the permits to make the grill burger. They could only boil hot dogs. Hot dogs. I'm glad you brought that up. I think it would say hamburgers if this, when did Dairy Queen start doing hamburgers? It would say hamburgers. I think that grill burger is something like a campaign. But You're the kind thing of is, overthinking it anyway. Okay, I won't say anything then. Uh, I'm going to 2000. 2000? Because you, you, <laughs> you, well, you and overshot it. Way past it. I'm having a lot of trouble dialing in the, uh, um, my, my, Pushes today. I can't even remember what you call them. All right, I am totally fine with you being back there in 1980 because, well, it's been knocked off the board. But you know, I think the fact that it's called a grill burger has nothing to do with anything. That's basically what I was saying. It, so I disagree that it's the year 2000. I think that they were probably doing burgers pretty early on. By the 70s, there yeah. were burgers. I don't need to overthink it either. I can just play defensively. I left the door open just like I did last time. My guesses have all been correct. And so I'm gonna go on a limb and say 1970. But of course, I'm gonna try to nestle this in 1940. There we go. Yeah, pretty much That's can't exactly lose. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. The Dairy Queen grill burger consisting of a beef patty, which looks like you guys got a double, melted Stevie, use cheese. your podcast voice. What? <laughs> Tomato. Lettuce, pickles. What if I talk like this on the podcast? Yeah, not, you are. Not, Onions, ketchup, and mayo was a surprisingly late addition to the DQ menu back when Nagin and I were in high school in 2005. You were right, man. Yeah. But you do not get the point. You do not get the All point. All right. Okay. You know what? Just a little, you got a little pride. Okay. And now you have to go first. So I get to bump you. This time, you pick it, you, you do it up, I catch it, then drop it, then you catch it again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh! Hey, we could be like a halftime show. It's like, hey, what are those guys gonna do? There's just a pedal stool with a little bucket on it. Uh, so this is just a shake. Just a shake. Ooh, strawberry shake. A strawberry shake. It's very strong, strawberry. Yeah, it is. This All right, is, you're in the lead now, again, so you got This is something go I would never order, but I do enjoy it. Oh, gosh. A little too okay. fruity for you? So, blizzards came about in 1980. Burgers didn't come out until the year 2000, which is still kind of blowing my mind. So we're, we are got to be talking pre-1980. The back half of the board, that only leaves 1940, but the front half of the board, I've got 70 and 30. And knowing that you're going to try to bump me hmm. into oblivion, hmm. i got to really be strategical about this. Uh. If Dairy Queen just started with ice cream, I mean, to be sure, they had shakes right from the get. Mm. So I, my answer has to be 1930. Well, it could be 1940. And if I go to 1930, it's gonna really make it difficult for you to know how to bump me. Yeah. I know exactly where I wanna go. Oh, that's too heavy, too heavy. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, that's good. All right, all right, you scared? No, I don't think they were around in the 30s, bro. Well, then what were they doing? Not existing? Yeah, 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 just, you, like, just like us. Did you exist in the 30s? Things have beginnings, man. I don't think they would do that to us. You don't think they would put 30 on the board as a decoy? Did you know these people? I'm questioning whether I do. I agree with part of your answer, and that is I think they had shakes from the very beginning, and I think they started in the 40s. I don't think they started in the 30s. So I just gotta get past you. Okay, all right, so we both done what we want to do. This is an honest test. Okay, so first off, yes, grill burgers are different than burgers. Dairy Queen had burgers in the 50s, oh, just dang to clarify. It. All right, okay, wow. But Dairy Queen shakes made by blending milk, DQ, soft serve, and any additional flavor the customer would like were one of the first DQ drink menu items yep. ever created in... 1949. Yeah! <laughs> Did Dairy Queen exist in the 30s? No, man! No. What? Let's freestyle this one. Okay. 
I would, I, didn't quite work. I, I wanted to catch it like, yeah. Oh, we have right. the- We gotta work on the halftime show. Non-dairy <laughs> dilly bar. The dilly bar, my mama used to talk about a dilly bar, man. She used to call my daddy a dilly bar. Really? Oh, you silly, you silly dilly bar. Jimmy, you silly dilly bar. That's like a tongue twister. Oh. So that's non-dairy. Let's not forget that. Because my dilly bar, my dilly bar, definitely was around when I was a kid. Hmm. Okay, we're tied. Oh man, I'm really, really hurting without the dairy. Going to the last round. I honestly can't remember what we do, but I think we couldn't remember last time and we wrote a new rule on the scroll. To the scroll! Oh, there we go. Oh, scroll, oh, shuffle rules. Please tell us all we need to know in order to complete this game. Okay, here we go. If tied upon entering the final round of a test of the bumps, fest of the bumps, that's what we're in. Yep. The losing player of the most recent shuffleboard game, that's you, shall go first for advantage most undeniable. I have the advantage, let's not question it. Roll it up. And if there is an accidental bump in the final round, If I bump you, then you get to place your puck, my puck, wherever you want it. Non-dairy, is this 2010 or 2020? The problem with 2020 is that, I mean, we're only a couple of years into that decade. Yeah, I mean, I still live in 2020. So the odds, if I'm going just with like sheer number of years, 2010 decade's gonna have, has more years in it. It does, so chances are. Could they have waited that late to go non-dairy at Dairy Queen? <laughs> that does feel like it's a little bit of a thumb in the nose at the, at the vegans. But you it goes totally against everything they've built their entire like, thing ah, on. Dairy I Queen, mean, oh, don't tell anybody. I mean, what, they're gonna change your name to non-dairy queen? Well, probably not. It's gotta be sometime in the 2010s. It can't be that recent. Cause you told me the Dilly Bar has been around for a while, which I didn't know. Should I block you from 2020? I want you to go for 2020 and be wrong. Look at that place. Yes! There's no denying that I've gone for 2010. Well, I can't even go for 2010 if I wanted to. Do you think that's the right answer? I think I have to believe that 2020 is the right answer. This is called rationalizing, Link. It's, we're humans, we're really good at it. I want 2020 to be the correct answer, and so I believe it is the right answer. Yeah, it's the right answer, because I yeah. want it to be true. Yeah. I'm a human in the 21st century. 2020. Nice placement. Stevie, we have both bet on ourselves. So I think we can both be proud. We can both be proud. No matter if I win or if you lose. Right. Mm-hmm. Couldn't have said it better myself. While the regular Dilly Bar has been a staple at Dairy Queen since the 1950s, You're the right. lactose intolerant, friendly, non-dairy version was not introduced until 2020. Yeah! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! I told y'all it was true. All you gotta do is believe. All you gotta do is want something to be true and it will be true. Give me my cream and the good mythical more. <laughs> Instant cream. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I'm Brendan. And I'm Stacy. We're here in beautiful St. Lucia for our honeymoon. And my 30th birthday. And it's, it's time, time to, to spin, spin the, the wheel, wheel of mythicality. mythicality. You're just chilling out in St. Lucia. Yeah. Just keep just it cool. Being married, being 30. Everything's peaceful. Nice. Click the top link to watch us discover the craziest things ever trademarked in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. Join Stevie and her high school best friend, Nagin, who she hasn't been friends with for over 15 years, every week on their podcast, Best Friends Back, all right.